Hey, what's up, guys? All right, hey, what's up, guys? Andy here at Move Sport Ninja Academy. Um, it's a winter wonderland here in Austin, Texas. Oh, these are Nerf goggles. Here for nothing, baby. Today, I figured we're closed. Businesses can't operate. There's too much ice on the road. We're shutting down. Most of the businesses can't operate. I figured let's build something. Today, we're building the flywheel. One of the most popular obstacles on the show. It's one of my personal favorites. I was just kind of cruising around on Facebook Marketplace and I found some free wood rounds. They're about 5 eighths inch thick and uh, these babies are 29 inches all pre-cut. They even came with T-nuts installed which I could probably use for something later. And so I'm going to have to uh, match up a couple of them together to get the right thickness. But I think it's going to work out okay. Some of the tools I'm going to be using for this job are a router with both a flush trim bit and a roundover bit and uh, also this circle jig which you attach the base to right here and you set an anchor point using a pin and uh, you basically set it and it makes a circle for you pretty sweet i also have a, a sander um, a bunch of wood clamps and a jigsaw and then some hardware we're gonna put this thing together oh i had to get some acrylic too to make the, the see-through piece in the middle so check that out now i want to get some some shapes to work with and then once i have some basic shapes or templates I can use those to create more of the same. So I grabbed the jigsaw, I kind of figured out a shape I wanted, and this is what I came up with. Cut out uh, templates for both the handholds, I'm gonna decide what kind of handholds I wanna use, and then uh, a third, uh, third template for the spacer, which I'll show you how it works in a minute. notice there's just a little bit excess that a rough cut with the jigsaw. We're going to use that uh, flush trim bit to kind of ride against the edge here with the bearing and it's going to make it this one exactly the same as this one. Now that I got a bunch of rough cut shapes here I'm going to match each one individually to the template and use that flush trim bit to match the same cut. shape out these guys and I connected them all using some wood glue and there will be bolts through them as well uh, but this is the basic shape for the handles I'm going to use a roundover bit on the edges here to get a nice jug here for you to grab onto and uh, so yeah look at that got four plies and the one in the middle here is the spacer that's just gonna give your hands a little bit of uh, space between the jug and the actual part of the flywheel Okay, so the flywheel here is going to be glued together as one piece, but I decided to put the handles on separately and make them interchangeable because there's some different things I want to add to them uh, to make it more difficult or to make it easier for the younger kids. 